Hello, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. And the book also covers Google Sites. And recently, I've been playing around with Google Sites and trying to learn how to get the most out of this really powerful tool that lets you create a simple website. This is a test website that I've created. You can look at my other videos to see how I created it. But today I'm gonna to talk about how to add collaborators to Google Sites. And this is really important because if, let's say that you're a faculty member at a middle school and you want to share this with your principal so she can also help out with uh, adding material or maybe she wants to change some things or she needs to add some important language on the website, she'll be able to do that. And not to mention, you'll be also able to add other people. So this is how you do it. Here is the Google uh, site, the test site. And basically the way that I got to it is if you go to Google Drive, it should be in the list of uh, recent things you've been working on. If you can't find it, you can just uh, go to the search window in Google Drive and, and search for sites. And it should appear at the top or somewhere else. Or you just press return. And you can see that it showed up. Okay, so here we're back at it. To add the collaborator, on the very top, you'll see an icon that looks like a silhouette with a plus symbol next to it. If you hover over it, it says share with others. Click on that. Okay, I'm going to blow this up a little bit. It's a little bit easier to see. Who has access? Now, um, you have to be careful with this. First of all, you only want to share it with people who should be able to collaborate on it. And when I say collaborate, it means they can change stuff. Helpfully, there's a window here. It says invite people. So let's say that I wanted to add someone that I work with, uh, Nicole. She is an administrator. And she has the, e the email address, Nicole at i30media.com. I can also add more people too. Um, let's say that I wanted to add uh, Rick and some other people. Um, and then when I'm ready to send it out to them, I would click the send button. You can also add a message. So here's the message. Hi, I am working on the test site for the middle school. Can you review the contents and update the front page text? Okay, send a copy to myself. Actually, maybe I'm just gonna have Nicole look at it first. Um, and then I can send it. Uh, one other thing, at the very bottom of it, uh, there's something that says prevent editors from publishing, changing access, and adding new people. This is pretty important if you want to give somebody access to change the content but not actually publish the updated content to the web where anyone can see it. And the reason why you would do this, let's actually do that. I'm gonna set prevent editors from publishing, changing, and adding new people. Actually, hold on. Uh, let, let's first send this out to Nicole. So I'm gonna send that to her. Okay, so uh, sorry, you cannot share with Nicole at i30media.com because they do not have a Google account. This is actually a pretty common occurrence and basically what they need to do in that case is they need to sign up for Google Drive or they have to have like a Gmail account and then they can use it. So what I'm going to do then is um, use this address. This is actually my own address and I'm going to send it out. Okay, so just added ian at ableroad.com as another user. So that person would be able to start to make changes. Uh, there's a pretty important setting down here, prevent editors from publishing, changing access, and adding new people. So you can click that and save that. And that means the other people, like uh, ian at ableroad.com, he'll be able to change things. So he can say, located in Maryville, New York. But he won't be able to publish it. He'll just be able to save it and then I can review his changes later on just to make sure that they're okay. So you can see that that's a pretty important thing to do. To get more information on how to get the most out of Google Sites, check out the book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. It includes a short chapter on Google Sites and how to get started. It doesn't cover everything, but it can get you started on the basics. Uh, go to in30minutes.com to learn more about the book and also to see more videos that I've posted about Google Sites and other topics available at in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.